Welcome back to another video. My name is AC Stunner and today we're gonna take a look at something that improves your health. I think um, we gotta we gotta take better care of ourselves, especially with the fast life these days. You know, um, uh, we gotta be a little bit more aware about things like sugar and and cancer and all these things. A lot of it can be can be uh, prohibited or helped by your diet or caused by your diet too. So let's take a look at and react to. This will happen if you start using apple cider vinegar every day. This will happen if you start using apple cider vinegar every day. Yeah, let's go. Health Normal. www.healthnormal.com if you want to know more. 10 health benefits of apple cider vinegar. The word vinegar comes from Latin, meaning sour wine. Vinegar is a natural product that has been used for thousands of years. Basically, it's the product of any alcoholic beverage made from grapes, apples, rice, dates, or yeah, white sugar. Yeah, if you leave alcohol too long, the bacteria it turns into the vinegar, alcohol right? into cider or acetic acid, giving vinegar that sour taste. In ancient Greece, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, is said to have been prescribing apple cider vinegar mixed with honey as a treatment for colds. Apple cider vinegar is now common for food flavoring and preservation. Moreover, it can improve your digestion, helping you lose body fat and sleep better. So in this video, we will take a closer look at all the benefits of apple cider vinegar. I've been Before using it proceed, for a while now. I really like the taste of it. In this video is you know, with a little bit of cane sugar. And it's like by syrup. Qualified health yeah, really delicious. With that said, let's jump in but, I mean, and talk apple about cider 10 vinegar. health benefits of apple cider vinegar. Number one, antibacterial qualities. Traditionally, apple cider vinegar is used for cleaning and sanitizing purposes, as it's believed to neutralize lice, warts, fungus, and other various pathogens. This is the one in I ancient use. Times, vinegar was used this to one, wounds. I bought it like a the year ago. The acetic acid in vinegar you know, I just ordered it online. multiplying. They delivered it at Moreover, the house. Moreover, vinegar is a great, great way of preserving food, as studies show it can inhibit E. coli and Candida albicans from growing and multiplying. A test tube study also found that apple cider vinegar can kill entero Let's go back a little bit. from multiplying. Moreover, vinegar is a great way of preserving fungus and other various pathogens. In ancient times, vinegar was used to clean wounds. Come on. The acetic acid in vinegar prevents bacteria That's from interesting though. It's really qualities. Interesting. Traditionally, apple cider vinegar is used for cleaning and sanitizing purposes, as it's believed to neutralize lice, warts, fungus, and other various pathogens. Nice one. In ancient times, vinegar was used to clean wounds. The acetic acid in vinegar prevents bacteria from multiplying. Moreover, vinegar is a great way of preserving food as studies show it can inhibit E. coli and Candida albicans from oh, growing and multiplying. A test tube study also found that apple cider vinegar can kill Enterococcus faecalis, a bacteria that occurs in the human bowels and gut and could cause serious intestinal infections. Mm. Apple cider vinegar is also known to eliminate bad smells and can be a natural alternative to artificial food odor neutralizers. You can mix one part apple cider vinegar with one part water. Het drinken van water voor het slapen gaan draagt bij aan het verbranden van 17 kilo in twee weken. Nope. Water and make a deodorizing spray. Number two, weight loss aid. Some studies suggest that consuming apple cider vinegar can help reduce body fat by speeding up your metabolism. For example, one study has shown that people who added apple cider vinegar to their low calorie diet managed to lose more weight than those who followed the same diet but without the vinegar. Mm. The study took Acid 12 and weeks fat. and the participants consumed about Don't 30 together, milliliters right? of Acid apple cider like, vinegar like per day. Burns they the also reported something. a lower appetite compared to those who didn't have vinegar at all. You can mix one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with water to make it more manageable for your stomach. However, some people might be intolerant to apple cider vinegar, which can cause nausea. Yeah, you so always got to be careful. Uh, there. Yeah, you always got to be careful. All in all, vinegar like can help so. you suppress your appetite you and gotta, eat like, fewer find calories, your balance, therefore reducing you know? that stubborn belly fat. Nevertheless, it's not a magic weight loss formula, and it won't work unless mm. you follow a proper diet. Mm. 
Number Always. three, helps with hair and skin care. You can use apple cider vinegar to rinse your hair. It will help improve its natural Remove smoothness that, and glow. Moreover, it can help detangle your hair by removing any toxic products. Try diluting one part apple cider in one part water, or maybe start with a weaker solution for the first couple of times to let your hair get used to it. What is more, apple cider vinegar ladies. can prove effective as a skincare nice product replacing expensive and fancy skin creams. Mix two cups of water with one tablespoon of vinegar and apply the solution to your skin using a cotton ball. It will act as a skin tonic for dry skin wow. and can even help treat acne. Wow. Thanks to its antibacterial properties, apple cider vinegar is also known as a remedy for eczema and other related skin conditions, rebalancing the natural pH of your skin. You could dilute vinegar in a... T the way I use it, I just, uh, I, I get like a two liter uh, bar le duc pack of water and when i open it there's always a little bit of uh, space you know because it's not filled to the top then i take uh, the cheap uh, lemonade from the from the shop from the supermarket and i dash a little bit of the lemonade in for the flavor and then i take like um, the lid of the this half of this and i put that in too and just close it and shake it and drink that over the whole day um, because uh, of the the lemonade uh, I use orange lemonade most of the time it just makes the lemonade a little bit more sour because the lemonade has a lot of sugar already so it's sweet so it combines it you know and gets that really nice nice taste to it that's how I use it I'd never use it for my face I never used it for anything else so all these things are new to me too but I didn't even realize though it's yeah yeah sometimes you, you don't think about uh things like this you know instead you go to the doctor he's going to give you medicine and this medicine is good for this but uh causes this then you get medicine for that and the medicine cures this but it causes this while we're natural beings we're natural uh creatures you know so of course it's always better to go back to nature but okay let me see toner of face wash and use it to cleanse your face regularly however using vinegar on your face might also have side effects speak with a professional before mm. trying it liking our video so far before we move on to the next apple cider benefit don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos Number four, it lowers blood sugar levels. High blood sugar levels can lead to a chain of severe health problems from type 2 diabetes to nerve damage and mm. eye, kidney, or heart issues. Some studies suggest that apple cider vinegar can help regulate blood sugar levels. Clinical trials suggest that consuming apple cider vinegar for 8 to 12 months can considerably lower blood sugar levels. Moreover, people who have vinegar with their meals recorded lower triglyceride levels. A review of several other studies revealed that consuming vinegar after a meal rich in carbohydrates can improve insulin sensitivity by as much as 34%, lowering blood sugar levels and insulin response. In another small study, vinegar helped reduce blood sugar levels by 31.4% after eating 50 grams of white bread. However, if you're currently under treatment for high blood sugar levels, you should talk with your doctor before... Yeah, so... Um if 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 you use it correctly then it also helps with uh, diabetes because it regulates the sugar right or the insulin something like that but there's different types of diabetes so i think it's it's uh it's wise to know uh which one you have and how to apply it but um it does help with your digestion you know it like really raises your digestion so of course it's gonna help you burn out uh, all the excess insulin and uh, sugars and that but all of these things um this is not like a cure so all of these things they work together with good healthy food a lot of vegetables a lot of fruit you know um and a lot of exercise you know if you combine these things it helps you do some research uh, ask your doctor um, if you're a healthy strong person 
you can kind of try it yourself test how much um is good for you you know at one point you start to react to it in a way that you don't feel comfortable most of the time that's enough for you to know what your limit is and how to balance it out let's go deciding to take apple cider vinegar as a treatment number five it helps regulate blood pressure high blood pressure is associated with increased risks of stroke and can lead to other serious cardiovascular problems down the road According to a study done on hypertensive rats, the acidic acid in apple cider vinegar can reduce blood pressure. However, more studies are needed as we can't say for sure that consuming more apple cider vinegar can reduce the risk of heart disease in humans. It's good they started Number the six, studies already. It supports so. the digestion. Apple cider vinegar is a naturally a acidic years, compound. You know? People who are struggling with low we'll stomach acidity schedule. might benefit from the consumption of apple cider vinegar. Moreover, it is a natural it prebiotic, stuff. promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut. A healthy population of gut bacteria leads to a highly efficient digestive system. True. As you might have already guessed, ACV also promotes the production of stomach acid, which aids in the breakdown of food, reducing or preventing bloating caused by slow digestion. Okay, so I'm going to let this uh, ad run. Because, yeah... They made the effort to put it online and to do this and to give us more information. So, you know, they get, need to get paid too. But most of the time, if I don't skip it, I'm going to get another one right after it. Got an appetite for dividends? There you go. Come get your slice on eToro. So, dividend this one. stocks are like a constantly baking cake that may expand. You can try mixing one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in one glass of water and drink it 20 minutes before a meal. We recommend you use unpasteurized ACV. You might not like the taste of it, but you may enjoy the benefits to your body. I like body. it with some, with Number with some seven, sugar cane, treat not too a much, sore of throat. Thanks to its antibacterial is. properties, apple cider vinegar can kill the bacteria yes. in the throat, Raw curing a sore throat. So mix one teaspoon What's of vinegar in eight ounces of water and gargle a few times a day. I got apple cider Well, if you just vinegar. can't stand the taste so and smell, you can also mix it with vinegar. honey, lemon juice, or green tea. Though. Just don't gargle with ACV alone because it could burn your really throat. Nice. Actually, let's go over two quick apple cider vinegar recipes for a sore throat. Pour a glass of warm water and put a green tea bag in it. Add one to two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and I lemon juice to the mix. I use mint because I grow mint in the it garden. It still doesn't sound good. Let's try option number two. Mix two tablespoons of honey with one tablespoon of vinegar in a cup of warm water. Gargle with this mixture until your throat feels better. Oh, wow. Number eight, it controls cholesterol levels. High cholesterol and triglyceride levels can lead to a whole chain of heart problems up to heart attacks. According to some studies, apple cider vinegar can lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels, reducing heart attack risk. The result of a 12-week study showed that participants who took apple cider vinegar managed to lose more weight than those who didn't. Moreover, they had increased levels of HDL cholesterol, also known as the good cholesterol. H Other animal HDL studies also showed promising results regarding vinegar's properties of reducing cholesterol, cholesterol levels. Nevertheless, more studies are needed to confirm these. Number nine helps clear a stuffy nose. True. Apple cider yeah. vinegar is rich in I potassium, better, which dilutes less. mucus and helps relieve nasal congestion and sinus it. pressure. Apple cider vinegar can also help in the case of sinusitis. The acidic acid it contains helps prevent the growth of bacteria that contributes to nasal congestion. All you need to do is mix a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of warm water. Yeah. You can drink it or inhale it. However, yeah. for inhalations, you can try something a bit more complex. You will need half a cup of vinegar and half a cup of water. Boil them in the saucepan until they steam. Turn off the stove and grab a towel. Wrap it around your neck and shoulders. Bend your head forward over the saucepan and gently inhale the steam. Repeat the process until you can breathe properly and the infection is gone. Number 10, it fights bad breath. Nobody likes wow. bad breath. It always leaves a bad impression on anyone you meet. Even your career and romantic life can suffer from it. <laughs> so can apple cider vinegar help? Yes, it can. Wow. Thanks to its pH balancing properties and its antibacterial qualities, ACV fights bad breath like a champ. It kills the bacteria responsible for bad breath, and you can try it after brushing your teeth in the morning. 30 milliliters of apple cider vinegar in a glass of luke water should be enough. 
Gargle with it every morning and your friends and colleagues will love it. However, avoid having more than one gargle a day as it can damage the enamel on your teeth. Oh, wow. So apple cider acid, vinegar is not an ingredient you calcium. should ignore. It has many promising health benefits together. from cleansing and detoxing your body and skin to helping control diabetes, cholesterol, or blood pressure. Appreciate and use it more. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Wow. Okay, cool. I think we're going to do more of these. I might even start making a schedule um, on what to do daily, you know, like uh, Monday health day, beginning of the week, of course, you know, you've been out having fun, eating well, drinking, doing all these things. So Monday, you might need to need a boost. So I might do something like Monday health day and then for every day something else i have to figure this one out still but um yeah i hope that you enjoyed the video um keep in mind your health is your wealth you know like um, whatever happens as long as you're healthy and strong you can overcome and you can figure it out so you know uh, mind your food um the choice you have to make your priorities food always first right uh make sure that uh you don't stress too much and uh, enjoy life. So keep safe. Peace. God damn, Marv is on fire. What the fuck? <laughs>